Welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories from Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm Fran McNeil, your host, and in the studio with me today is Kyle Fox, Global Execution Director with Power Match. Kyle, thanks for joining me. You're welcome. How are you? I am fine, and how Good? are you today? Yeah, I'm, I'm wonderful. Excellent, excellent. Outside. It is a beautiful yeah. day. I mean, amongst the rainy days that we've had and <laughs> the rainy it, days that we're about to have. I know, it's rained like 30 <laughs> days in a row, like 20. We might as well live in Seattle. I mean, yeah, out. <laughs> yeah don't, don't say that too loudly. Uh, the satellites might hear and then, and then we'll really be in and trouble. Then, and then all of yeah. a sudden there's, there's the guys in the black hats and the suits. Right, outside right, 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 yeah. so, right. Um, yeah. Yeah, power match. Uh, let, let's just get this positive, okay? <laughs> okay. So, Kyle, we're off to a good start. Um, I always love to ask my guests mm -hmm. about significant moments in their lives. Okay. And no different. What's a significant moment in your life? Uh, sure. I mean, so in terms of, of uh, you know, becoming an entrepreneur mm -hmm. uh, and getting uh, with power match, right. um, uh, I actually started... Power Match as a member. I was a, I was a member first before I was. Wow. I was yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's it actually it was it was pretty cool. I was actually a job seeker amongst other okay. things. I was I was kind of doing some different work, uh, mm -hmm. something things that are not related very much at all to to what we do now. And mm -hmm. um, and I was looking for a new job, and I and I kind of mm -hmm. believed, okay. uh, as as Power Match does, that that the best way for me to find a job for myself was if I could meet somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody mm -hmm. uh, who might be able to help me out and mm -hmm. find finding something to do. Mm -hmm. um, and so I joined Power Match because I, I read about what Sarah was trying to accomplish. Great. Um, Sarah Rosenberg. Sarah Rosenberg, who's, mm -hmm. who's the founder of Power Match. Uh, mm -hmm. I read about what she was trying to accomplish, and I said, oh, that makes a lot of sense to me, uh, mm -hmm. which is sort of exactly what I just described. And so I, I joined up, and, and I got to know Sarah, and, and she, she uh, about a year and a half later or so, came out of a strategy session and needed a partner, and she, she approached wow. me. And... Uh, I said, yeah, because I, I, I believed in the mission. Okay, uh, okay. So. Wow, so in becoming a partner, was that ever part of your like entrepreneurialism? Was that ever part of what you imagined yourself doing? Uh, I think I've always had a belief mm -hmm. uh, that, that I would be an entrepreneur, that I had that sort of spirit okay. in okay. myself. And, and mostly, in that, I don't know if there was like necessarily one experience that mm -hmm. kind of led to that idea, mm -hmm. as much as I think that, that it's sort of a series of you know, life and thought experiments that led, right. led to a I belief love that, 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 yeah, well, <laughs> um, that led to the belief that, that uh, if, I, if I or anybody else wanted to create mm -hmm. um, significant and sustainable social change, mm -hmm. uh, the, probably the easiest avenue to do it through is through, uh, you know, um, from the ground up uh, mm -hmm. in the private sector. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe that most sustainable social change kind of comes from that area. So, so I, I think I've always kind of had a, a belief that being an entrepreneur was, was something that, that sat inside somewhere, okay. you know, but it's a matter of finding the, the right outlet. Right. You know, for and being a co-founder mm -hmm. um, and you know, sharing the direction and helping to identify the future of a company um, is a very different role. Yes. What what does that look like in terms of your business? Um, um, you know, so so I think that probably the probably the easiest way to describe it is is it's a little philosophical, right? It, and mm -hmm. and what's interesting is that is that I think that the future of the world. Um, I'm glad we're talking big stuff I, we're, here. We're, uh, let's, you know, let's I always wanted pretend. to be significant, so let's, this is good. The future of the world. Okay. The future of the world, <laughs> and I mean this. I, I, I truly believe the future of the world depends on uh, people who know how to communicate with each other. Mm. Uh, and I don't mean just like having a conversation. Like you mm -hmm. and I can have a conversation, mm -hmm. but like actually communicating with each mm -hmm. other, you know, okay. understanding and, and empathy mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and being able to like truly understand what another person is saying. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that is an incredibly... Uh, important skill and I think we kind of uh, uh, we need to embrace that and mm -hmm. we need to find a way to do it so so uh, in terms of what what power match does uh, that is essentially exactly what power match is going after we're going after the opportunity for a business person you know, businesses all around the world are trying mm -hmm. to find the opportunity mm -hmm. to form a relationship with each mm -hmm. other and to, and mm -hmm. to build a community mm -hmm. um, and that's exactly what power match is is accomplishing you know, every day we're giving people an opportunity to have a conversation with each other, to understand mm -hmm. uh, what other people are going through and what their struggles and successes are. And what's what's truly amazing is that when you when you 
start treating people like dynamic and unique individuals mm -hmm. with with ideas and thoughts and beliefs and opinions uh, and sort of stop treating them as like an opportunity. Mm -hmm. yeah, amazing things start happening to you and your business and you as a mm -hmm. person, you know, in mm -hmm. pretty much every every other aspect of your life. So and that's that's the attitude that Power Match takes to to uh, you know, to business networking, which is okay. what we do. OK. And so do people come into power match sort of not having those skills? I mean, recognizing they're important, mm -hmm. but maybe not being good at that. And if so, how do you help them become more effective? Uh, I don't think so. I think that, I think mm -hmm. that, I think there's a mix. I think, I think that some people just naturally understand, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, how to build a successful uh, relationship with another mm -hmm. human being. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that other people don't so much, but, but what Power Match does is we create an environment mm -hmm. uh, in a small group setting mm -hmm. uh, where, where people, regardless of what their background is or what they're trying to accomplish, have an opportunity to sit down in a room with two other people and have a conversation wow. and just talk. You know, mm -hmm. this is what I'm trying to do. What are you trying to do? How can I okay. help you? How can you okay. help me? Uh, and those conversations are incredibly important. And, and what we are doing, we're providing an outlet for those conversations to happen mm -hmm. in a very natural uh, right. but, but professional and effective way. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Makes Totally makes sense. Um, in my back background, I've had the opportunity to coach and facilitate um, with a lot of folks. And I've often said business is about the three R's and mm -hmm. relationships is the first R. Sure. You know, sure. results are a big piece and then revenue comes. Right, right. It's, it's not revenue first um, and then, you know, maybe you'll form some yeah. relationship. <laughs> it, revenue just doesn't come first. Yeah, it, absolutely. It really is I, about and, the relationships. And listen, I mean, there, there, are, there are some people in this world. I, mm -hmm. listen, I don't want to, I don't want to pretend anything otherwise. There are some people mm -hmm. in this world who just can get by without creating that relationship at all and mm -hmm. still get results in revenue. Mm -hmm. I mean, but the, we're talking about the, there's Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, okay. those okay. types of people who just so happen to have <laughs> a yeah, genius but... and a vision <laughs> right. that, that transcends the, ability, the need to form a relationship in mm -hmm. the first place. But for the majority of people, uh, for the majority of whether you're a small business, a medium business, a startup, mm -hmm. a solopreneur, it doesn't matter, mm -hmm. you need a team of people who believe in you, right? You know, who are willing to 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 go out of their way to support you, uh, mm -hmm. and to and to talk about your product and to be willing to help in any way that they can. Mm -hmm. And the only way you're ever going to get that team of people is is through your first R, is through right. building relationships, right. right? Right. And and they become advocates and ambassadors, absolutely. And even friends. Yeah, absolutely friends. Even friends. And and, yeah. and Power Match sort of feels like a really interesting spot mm -hmm. in in the um, in sort of the way that business is done mm -hmm. nowadays. Right? I mean, think think about how business, how business is done. How, how how do you find a plumber? How do you do it? Um, online. Yeah, you go online, right? You type right. in Google, right. a plumber near me, and maybe you get a couple lists. SEO you get, ranking. Right. Uh, right. The first one comes you up. Get on, you right. get on Facebook, and you say, right. hey, does anybody know a plumber? Right. And the first right. three people that get tagged, you're probably calling one of them. Right. Right? right. And that's how business is built. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so you kind of have to ask yourself the question. If you want to build your business, and that is a lot of the ways, that's the new cold call, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. Then, then yes. you better have an army of people willing to write your name down on Facebook Good or point. Twitter or LinkedIn or wherever it is. Right. And the only way you're ever going to get that is if you take 45 minutes out of your day mm -hmm. to sit down and have a conversation with them. Tell them what you're accomplishing. Oh, no. Real life people? Yeah, real actual people. Actual people <laughs> sitting <laughs> sitting down in a room together. Right, you know? right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what we do. So talk about results. What? Who are some of the people that are part of your organization and are happy to talk about Power that, Match? Yeah, uh, so so I mean, we've got a lot of people in our organization. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, you know member businesses mm -hmm. all across the sort of Philadelphia, um, South Jersey, Philadelphia mm -hmm. suburbs mm -hmm. area, um, and they're and they're businesses large and small. They're solopreneurs, mm -hmm. they're entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. they're they're photographers and motivational speakers mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and uh, uh, cupcakes chefs mm, and you know yeah. right, right, she's always right. popular and, uh, <laughs> yeah really <laughs> yeah and hairdressers and makeup artists and, uh -huh. and you know and 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 anybody anybody mm -hmm. who's got a, a dream for themselves and a vision to mm -hmm. to build their own 
business mm -hmm. uh, and believe that building relationships is is the metric by or is, or is the is the method by which you can you can aim to achieve that. So, you know, results for us. I mean, listen, we've got a lot of things mm -hmm. that you can call mm -hmm. results. You can mm -hmm. talk about numbers, but but yeah. truly, uh, things that are really gratifying for us in sort of our day to day is um, when we can watch our mm -hmm. member businesses. Uh, you know, work together and, 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 and solve problems mm -hmm. and help each other out in, almost in real time. Mm -hmm. You know, before mm -hmm. your eyes, you just kind of watch right, people right. like forming relationships together mm -hmm. and being willing to help each other out, taking care of each other. And that's, that's uh, a very, very gratifying moment for us. You know, so that, I, think, I think that's a, that's a pretty good metric of success for us. Yeah. I was pretty sure that your metric would be qualitative as opposed <laughs> to quantitative because uh, you're, you're experiential. I yeah. mean, it, the process is experiential. Yeah, and, and so, you know, yeah. it's it's hard it's hard to it's hard to put a quote a uh, a, a number. You can't mm -hmm. put a number on on building a relationship. Right. You right. know, uh, or at least it's very hard to do. Um, you know, so. But we're we're having we're having we're having a lot of success. We love mm -hmm. the people that we work with, uh, and we're growing every day. So right. So it's been right. it's been really fun for us. We're having a good time. Good. Yeah. Good. And I can tell that. <laughs> um, so I'm going to ask you my last question. Okay. And we talked about this before uh, we got on the air. It's full disclosure. Uh, right. Full disclosure. <laughs> um, and I'm going to do it anyway because okay. I think the response that you gave is an important one. Okay. Um, I often ask people, how do you focus your energy for action? Mm -hmm. And your response. And my, my, <laughs> well, my, my initial response was, right. was uh, you know, um, uh, that I didn't want to just like disagree outright, uh, which I don't, by the way. I don't, I don't disagree. Uh, what I believe right. uh, is that action uh, is sort of like the final catalyst towards change it's like the last thing mm -hmm. that has to happen right mm -hmm. uh and you can you can you can draw all sorts of examples you're trying to push a boulder up a hill right, right. what's right. the last thing you have to do before the boulder starts moving up the hill you actually have to take the action of pushing right. it right? right but um if you're looking to create change mm -hmm. in the world uh it has to start with the idea of being able to understand other people uh, being able to communicate sure, and have sure. a conversation and really understand what, what the struggles and successes of the people around you. And mm -hmm. if you focus your energy there, mm -hmm. as opposed to focusing it on like whatever the action might be, mm -hmm. uh, focus your energy on, on understanding people and what they're mm -hmm. going through, what you're going to get is, is a result of, of the action presenting itself to you. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. You know, and then you don't have to spend your time. The, yeah, okay, I need to get this boulder up the hill. But what's the best thing for me to do? The best thing for me to do is figure out why it's beneficial to move this boulder up mm -hmm. the hill mm -hmm. and talk to all these other people about if it's beneficial for them and if it is for them as well. And guess what? We're all <laughs> They'll push, help we're you. We'll push the boulder, boulder up the hill together. Oh, totally you know? cool. Um, that's, you know. that's in synchrony. Well, is that right? It's synchronous with what you shared before. Yeah. Um, yeah. It yeah. all comes together. It does. Power match. Power match. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, Good. How can people get in touch with you? Uh, people can get in touch with us um, in a number of different ways. Mm -hmm. They get online, uh, www.powermatchonline.com. Okay. Sure. Um, they can find us on Facebook, uh, mm -hmm. Twitter. Uh, feel free to link up with me on LinkedIn mm -hmm. or okay. uh, Sarah Rosenberg, my business partner. Mm -hmm. um, you find either of us on LinkedIn. Um, phone call, email. Okay. You know? <laughs> no carrier pigeon. No carrier pigeon. That's I mean, not if you really wanted to, a relationship or yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. You, you want that face to face contact? Yeah. Listen, I we love, love we love meeting new people. Great. Uh, we love Great. talking to people and finding different ways uh, to help them in any way that we can. So, so I would encourage anybody you know who who sees this uh, to to find us. Okay. Find us. Terrific. Send, send me a message. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you, Kyle. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank and you. And I want to say to our viewing audience that um, if you want to get in touch with Kyle, very easy to do, as he suggested, contact him through LinkedIn, Kyle Fox, Global Execution Director of Power Match. Kyle, thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Definitely appreciate your time and energy. Yeah, not a worry. And our conversation. Yes. Thank you. How about that? Thank you. And I'm Fran McNeil, host of Significant TV significant stories from significant entrepreneurs.